All right, I'm Nick. Today, we are going to go over the last few days of shooting. We're going to give you guys the official results all together and tell you how we did. Now, the idea of this whole playlist, so if you're on this video and you haven't seen the other three or four videos, go back and watch them or this is not going to make any sense, was to show if you shoot three different pistols, comparable as they are, you will have mediocre results. And just spending time shooting one pistol, whichever one you choose, will give you better results because you are familiar with something. Now, the three pistols we used, we used a Glock 19 Gen 5. We used a Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 with a 3.6 inch barrel, which is a compact in their opinion. And we used the new Sig Fuse P365. They all have vastly different trigger feels, they all have different optic systems, and I did terrible in my opinion with all of them, right? And mediocre is the word. So we'll cover how I did with each gun, and I'll go over the differences. I'll ramble a little bit, but it's the only way you guys are going to get a bunch of details. I did, I hit the least amount of targets, but the target was the same target, which was a 7 by 12 metal target, okay? We counted impacts and nothing else. You either heard the noise or it didn't count. And I shot a 15 out of 30. Now, if you don't know what we shot, we shot that 7x12 target. We shot 15 with irons, and we shot 15 with the dot. We shot 3 from 10 yards, 15, 20, 25, and 30, okay? Uh, when we shot the irons, the dots were still installed, but the dot was turned off. So we had to shoot through the dot. You know, maybe the battery died. Maybe the optic broke. Now you're using the irons. So co-witnessing or having a slight picture is important. 15 out of 30. That's terrible, right? Uh, that's including going 0 for 3 from 15 yards with the irons, which is just unacceptable. Even with the dot. With the dot, I went 1 from 3 from 10 yards. Now, we did have a par time. We had a par time of 4 seconds, and I wasn't standing there in a, a you know, my hands next to the holster ready to shoot. Most of the time, I was looking away. I wanted to acquire the problem, ID the problem, pull the pistol and fire the three rounds, okay? So that way, you're not standing there ready, staring at the target, and your body's perfectly square. That's just not real life, okay? Um, there had to be some kind of challenge there. Not, I'm just standing in front of the target, standing at perfect sight picture, pull the trigger, okay? So 15 out of 30. With the Glock, I shot a 17 out of 30, which... As far as that goes, I went 3 for 3 for 10. The numbers aren't terrible. You guys can go back and watch these videos. They're just not a good overall score on a 7 by 12 inch target. I did score the best with the Smith & Wesson. Now, I have its big brother, which is the, the metal frame, uh, 4 and a quarter inch barrel. So, I've shot that gun a lot. I'm a huge fan of it. So, that's probably going to help that result. Uh, but I did, even with an 18 out of 30, I went... 0 for 3 from 10 yards with the irons. And I remember very, very clearly when I pulled this gun and I presented this pistol, I didn't even consider the fact that this thing had white dot sights and I was shooting a white target. And when I pulled that pistol up, I was like, white, 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 boom. And I, boom, and boom. And I was looking and I, I just did not succeed, okay? Now, I did shoot this in a two-day period, which I could have did it all back to back to back, which would have probably made the results worse, uh, but I wanted to take a break and just consider some things. And some of the major differences was the trigger. Oh, man, when I was shooting this gun, the first time I shot this gun, I put 100 or so rounds through in the, in the first time I shot it, 50 the next day, and I was back in tune. The trigger was fantastic. Everything was perfect, and I was shooting it great, just running through some metal, wonderfully and then i started to film this video and the glock trigger is a glock trigger and it's not a terrible trigger glock doesn't make a bad trigger it's a duty trigger it's pretty darn good at the end of the day but you have to be used to it and then i shot this bad boy which at a table you would say well this trigger is a little bit better and 100 it is it's a good trigger i like that trigger system okay uh and then i went from shooting a thick pistol to a thick pistol with a different trigger and much better grip, better ergonomics in my opinion. And then I went from that to a skinny pistol with a completely different 
feeling trigger and I, I could I could feel myself. It wasn't that I was like anticipating the shot. I was already letting my finger back out because in my brain I pulled the trigger. Like, and that's terrible, but that's what happens, right? So in my brain, I I pulled that trigger and I was already letting back out. I was ready for the next round. And that's terrible. But that's what your brain does when you shoot different pistols non-stop. You don't let your body or your muscle memory come back to instincts or anything like that you are all over the place you don't have a you don't have a set point like shooting a basketball if you shot a basketball every day and then you picked up a small basketball or the hoops on a you know nine or ten foot you're gonna struggle it's just not right so I struggled with gripping this pistol when I pulled it from the holster I felt like my hand was not in a good spot my support hand didn't feel like it was in a good spot and that's just because the pistols are so vastly different. The sights played a big factor. The sights are different. This has a six MOA dot on there. This has a three and a quarter inch MOA dot, MOA dot on there. Uh, this has a point or two, two MOA dot with a 32 MOA circle, which is great. <laughs> but at 30 yards, a seven inch target is completely covered up. Those are things that if you aren't training with one pistol, you don't think about. And it's one of the reasons I talk about something like this FON or FON, FN doesn't necessarily fit into a weapon system that I'm greatly familiar with because it's so much different than all of these pistols or every pistol I own. Uh, those are things to consider, okay? Now, the whole goal of this was just to show, man, you're going to have mediocre results if you don't shoot the pistol a ton. And here we are. I don't shoot this pistol a ton. I shot it from a random holster that was just adaptable because of this light. And I did absolutely terrible in my opinion. Now, if it was a full-size target, this score goes up at least 25 to 35% with zero issue because the target's better. There's more room for failure, right? I wanted to fail. I wanted the results to look poorly. That's okay. Humble pie is a good pie, right? Now, right here... We got a case, a whole case of 9mm, which is simply dedicated to go through this fuse. Now, we're at about 200 rounds through it now, so when we're said and done, it'll have about 1,200 rounds through it. I am not going to shoot any of the other pistols until I get through with this. My goal is to put 1,000 rounds to this, not 1,000 rounds of just boom, 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 not aiming. 1,000 quality rounds, quality drills. And then come back and shoot this drill again and see what the results look like. Uh, I'm willing to bet that this number goes up drastically. I am almost willing to guarantee that from 0 to, or 10 to 20, 10, 15, 20, we shoot perfect on that. Because when we pull this holster, or when we pull this gun from a holster a month from now when there's a thousand rounds plus through it, we're going to have a perfect grip. We're going to present the gun perfectly. There will be no looking for the dot. There will be no, where is it at? What's going on? It'll be boom, 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 boom. Great recoil control, great results, okay? So the whole video series is just to figure out how much better you shoot something if it's the only gun that you shoot. And I'd say it's the reason that you need a weapon system platform, something that keeps you all in the same area and not a bunch of different random pistols because you just don't shoot any of them good. And that's an opinion. That's how I feel. That's how I have uh, looked at this stuff for a long time. And that's one of the reasons, like, I'll keep this pistol forever. But when we're done here, I'm going to wipe it off. I'm going to put it back in the bag that it lives in with a whole bunch of magazines and a whole bunch of ammo. And if anything bad in the world happens, or anything like that, there's a bag full of Glock ammo, or a bag full of Glock mags, a bag full of a Glock, everything that I need. I know I shoot it mediocrely, but if you trained with it, you shoot it really, really good, okay? So we're rambling a bit. That's what we're going to do with that. We'll videotape a thousand rounds through here, see how the results look, okay? Thanks for watching.